Mason, there was quite a promise for this airplane just a few years ago, and now it appears you've not only met those promises, but exceeded them. What's new with the Eclipse? Well, as you saw today, the Avio NG integrated flight management system is new with Eclipse today. It's fantastic that we've taken all the technology of the aircraft and integrated it back as it was originally designed right up on the multi-function displays where we've integrated the aircraft computer system and the EFA system into one tightly woven unit so that we can provide superior data in all facets of the aircraft to pilots, mechanics, uh, and operators of the aircraft. What kind of undertaking was this? You know, it was a pretty substantial undertaking, not only from us, but uh, more importantly from our supplier, uh, Integrated uh, Solutions and Services, ISNS. They've done a fantastic job helping us get this to market and, and, and spending a lot of time and effort. And we've had a, a collaborative team working on flight testing and design and getting this uh, wired and back into the plane in the right fashion. And uh, I just can't believe that we've actually been able to do this this year, as well as exceed all the promises for, for our customers that we set out a year ago. Well, ISNS has a reputation for pulling rabbits out of a hat anyway. They've saved uh, this project at various times in a previous iteration, so it's nice to see them be able to continue with that and, and meet, see them meet the original promise. You know, they've been a very good partner, and, and more importantly, their product is very sound. You know, the mean times between failure and the infant mortality rate that we see in their product compared to uh, other products that we've seen uh, in the marketplace is, is vastly superior. This is a very high-quality product, and many of the components built to military specifications, but in a general aviation aircraft. Let me get this straight. There's going to be no price increase per se for the total Eclipse package, so you're eating these costs. That's got to hurt. It doesn't hurt, okay? <laughs> I mean, I, because it is... It, I know, but it's so much fun to hear somebody say do, no more costs. How do I sell a total Eclipse right. without it being total? Right. So it's got to be total and complete. So the best, and we're going to continue to add the highest level of quality and the highest level of uh, functionality onto the total Eclipse for many, many years to come, right driving us into production. So uh, we think it's the right move to make, and this is not the economy to start introducing price increases. So we're looking for cost efficiencies, streamlining our efforts, and we'll still make a profit. Uh, we've been profitable 12 out of the last 13 months. I assure you, I'll be profitable with this venture as well. Very good. And finally, for the retrofit crowd, the, those who uh, aren't uh, taking advantage of the total eclipse program, for those with their airplanes currently operating, what kind of transition are they looking at to be able to take on these capabilities? The way that the, uh, the STC is designed for this particular functionality that we're adding with the integrated uh, flight management system is we'll have to take the plane from the 1.7 configuration, which is the latest and greatest that we have right now, and add this on top of it. So they want to continue with that upgrade path and, and move along that, and then this will be an, an additional functionality and feature set that will be added, okay? Uh, we won't see this as being uh, in the hundreds of thousands of dollars of cost, okay? This is going to be where we make as economical as we can for existing customers, uh, but it does create uh, a good bit of wiring change and, uh, and uh, configuration changes in the aircraft, coupled with a lot of work that's been done on this software product as well. Keep this up, I'm going to have to trade in my Cirrus guy. Hey, I tell you what, I traded in my Cirrus, <laughs> went to buy an Eclipse and ended up with a little bit more, so I'll tell you, Cirrus is a fantastic product. 3,700 Cirrus is flying out in the world today, probably one of the, the best single engine uh, planes that we've seen in many, many years, definitely since 1986 when all the, the changes went around in aviation. And we're just looking for those Cirrus owners that are looking for a step up to come see us and talk about a total Eclipse. Well, you guys are a major source of conversation on the COPA board, so there's uh, th th it's fertile ground for you, let's put it that way. Hey, I was one of the founding uh, directors for uh, the COPA board. I've been involved since day one. I've uh, hosted over 60 fly-ins for uh, various COPA members and even helped with many of the safety programs. And uh, I'm very proud of that. I love my friends on COPA. And, uh, you know, together we're going to bring the positive back into aviation and have a lot of fun. Aero TV is brought to you by If you own a Cirrus today or if you are considering the purchase of a new or used aircraft, consider this. Avidyne, in conjunction with the country's leading Cirrus sales and maintenance facilities, has launched the G3R9 program that combines the purchase of a late model, low time Cirrus aircraft and the addition of the Avidyne Integra Release 9 avionics suite for much less than you may have thought, and certainly much less than purchasing a brand new aircraft. G3R9, combining the best airframe, best engine, and best avionics for the best value.